Hi, my name's Steve Bateman. I'm the course leader uh, for sports therapy and a senior lecturer in sports therapy at Stafford University. Now, I'm very quickly going to talk to you about these two words here, digital and connected. If you're watching this video, you've probably already seen those words all over Stafford University's marketing and, and media, but, but what actually do they mean as a potential student at Stafford University? Now, um, in sports therapy, we've got one goal, and that goal is to send you out in three years' time as a sports therapist as a, an employable fully practicing sports therapist that's not the same as saying we're going to get you a degree in sports therapy um, it's saying that you need to be able to take the knowledge uh, take the academic skills and put them into practice as a sports therapist it's very different um, and these two things help us to achieve that goal now you will be trust me you will be working with digital technology as a sports therapist for the rest of your career and it is involving evolving so quickly um, it's hard to keep up with it and our job is to try to keep you in the loop try to make sure that you're aware of the tools and how you might utilize them in your clinical practice that's one aspect we practice what we preach we also use digital technology in our teaching throughout the three years here now uh, very rarely in sports therapy will you be talked at will we lecture at you okay because that's we're sports people that's not how we learn we try to make sure using digital tools and digital teaching tools that you come to lectures armed already with the underpinning knowledge that you need in a subject area and then what that means is we can go into more depth with our face-to-face -face contact time and more important than that we can get our hands dirty and practice our clinical skills putting our theory into practice as a clinician. That's really, really important. You need to get 200 hours uh, of placement time, practical time out in the workplace before you can graduate on this course, all to achieve this goal of being a sports therapist, not just knowing about sports therapy. And that brings us to the second word. We've got, we've been doing this a long time now, we've got a network, a connected network of people, right from professional elite sports clubs, football teams, right the way down to grassroots, uh, level sports and clinical practices, physiotherapists, sports therapists, GPs, doctors, etc. Um, so you need to find your placements, but we can put you in touch with this network that we've been building on um, over the last 10 years or so. Okay, so those two things are really important, achieving this goal, which I think is a key uh, component of making the choice of where you go to, to study sports therapy. And that is, we want you to come out as a sports therapist, not as somebody that knows about sports therapy. So if that interests you, if you can see the importance of that, please uh, take a look at social media, SUST Clinic, Stafford University Sports Therapy Clinic, um, on Twitter and Facebook, or go to www.staffs.ac.uk and check out the website and find the, uh, the hotline number and give us a call.